Please rise and join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening and welcome to the Board of Selectmen meeting of December 2nd, 2019. Uh, public hearing, before we get to the public meeting, we'll get public hearings and we'll open up at uh, 1900 and RSA 41 colon 14 dash A 2nd Street 4, 4 2nd Street, release deed restriction number four, single family, four bedroom, and subdivision restrictions. Anybody from the public wishing to speak on this? I'd love to speak on this. There are two things we're looking for relief for. That's Peter should give his name for, for the public. Because they want, they like to see you and they oh, okay. know who you are. I might pick up a client or two. <laughs> Peter Sari from the Law Office representing the applicant. Um, we're looking for two reliefs here from the deed restrictions. Uh, the main one is the four bedroom limit for any bedrooms in this part of town. Uh, there's also no subdivision restriction. We're doing this, asking for this anyway, because of the size of the Campanello family. They have a large extended family. Uh, they like to bring their kids, their grandkids, uh, to the beach, particularly in the summertime and vacation time. Uh, they're one of these extended families you run into dying out, but you still see them. Uh, there are two houses on the site now. They're dumpy looking places, but they're there. We want to get rid of those and replace those with what you see in your package. Uh, you notice that it shows five bedrooms which is a no-no under the deed restriction. Uh, the Capanellas want to be up front on this, and instead of taking a closet out of a room and throwing a mattress on that room and make it a no, no longer a bedroom, they, they don't want to do that. They want to have it up and above board. I think everyone's a f a well aware of the, 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 the uh, congestion down there. It's a mess down there. My client complains about it all the time. People park and block him. Uh, I'm not sure what the solution is, but it's a problem. I guess you people may be dealing with that at some point. Um, what we think we can do on uh, the parking, and Mark and I just talked about this, is to have a car in the garage, a car in the second garage, and cars behind each of those cars. That would keep it out of the uh, public right of way. It wouldn't cross, wouldn't cross the property line, front property line. Now, the problem with that is, has been just told to me, is that there's not enough. There's enough space if you add, if you just count the distance from the from the front property line to the back of the garage, you can fit two cars in. But it's uh, it's the opinion of the council that we need to have each space have the required 18 foot depth. Now we could do that by moving, if you saw the layout of the building inside, you notice there's a bathroom in back of the garage. We could take that out and there's a little thing next to it, take that out and that would give us the ability to have uh, 18 feet. The garage would be at 18 feet, the front of the garage would be moved back to give 18 feet from the, from the road. Uh, that's an idea. I think it's a good one. Um, it's not going to do any good to have people say, well, five bedrooms is a lot of, a lot of bedrooms, but, you know, taking away a bedroom for the kids and the grandkids and all that doesn't really do any good for anybody. All it means is they're going to be cramped inside there more than they would be if they were in another bedroom. And as I say, uh, it doesn't benefit the town by doing this at all. Uh, if people are going to come here and party, they got a lot of space, probably more space than the Carpinellos are thinking of using. Um, 
family run and it, you know it's a it's a it's a good kind of property it's a good kind of people for this kind of property uh, the subdivision was approved about 20 years ago went to the planning board it was approved uh, how it happened that they missed uh, mm -hmm. the fact that, that was a deed restriction I don't know but that's that's what's existing right now I don't know how many times it's changed hands that's it okay anybody else in the public wishing to speak seeing none we'll go to the board uh, mark yeah uh, the uh, thought I had shared with Peter uh, is uh, in reference to the plan here is that uh, where there's a red line sort of a bit of a ways into the garage area that's where the garage would start instead of where it's shown so that you have a full 18 feet on the outside for each of the two spaces and then two spaces on the inside of the garage so you'd have four compliant spaces uh, that would serve the, f the five bedrooms. Um, the ordinance itself requires two, dwell two spaces per dwelling unit and that all parking must be on site and on any lot containing one or more residential stacking constitutes one parking space so that uh, if you were to make it a condition that the garage would start a little further back so as to enable these two outside spaces uh, there would still be considered only two spaces because they would be stacked but you would still have the ability to have four parking spaces completely on site and perhaps avoid the problems that other places on this street have experienced in terms of trying to squeeze in and maybe partly on the right-of-way these would not be partly on the right-of-way uh, Peter has shown me that what the inside of the garage as it currently is planned would look like and it looks like you could rearrange things so as to make the uh, the uh, space available inside and out Mary Louise I I admit that this is a little confusing but I remembered when the gentleman was in the last time okay first of all um, what I have, you passed this out. I did. Us, Mark. So that yellow is the is their property. The yellow is the going is the the new house to be. Okay. Replacing replacing two. Uh, okay, re but it's not these these two. It's not this one and the one behind. No. So this is the this one lot right here. That's correct. And it has two. Okay, so it has two now, but this will be a regular open space when they knock down the two houses. Uh, uh, yes, it would okay. be open, and therefore there would be a new residence. Okay. Now, I've had some calls from people in the area concerned about whether there would be parking on the street. They're worried about being able to get down 2nd Street without having cars parked in the way. So with this... Uh, set up are you are comfortable that the design because I can't tell from this uh, here that there would be I, I, I understood parking two parking places like under the house or next or attached to the house two in the garage and inside then and then two would be outside right behind them okay but all on, the on this property on that property okay and and the um, the driveway <clears throat> where the cars would come out because the cars from the uh, the car uh, whatever the car the two cars that are in in the house uh, when these people come out they will come out onto King's Highway no no it's truly they would be stacked the, the two parking spaces in the garage would not be able to get out unless the spaces behind them were able to get out. Well, I realize that, but the two cars that aren't in the garage, I'm assuming that they would be parked in a driveway, one, two, so they'd be able to go out one at a time. And I, this is facing King's Highway. And it's actually, Second Street. No, they're actually facing Second Street. The driveway is facing separate. I just can't, I can't tell from this 
like where the driveway is going to be. Right. You'll you'll see uh, that the, the the cars that I. It says proposed eco paver walkway. Look at that one. But see that how? doesn't. Well, this is the one I originally. Well, this is the second one right here. So these are the mark proposed. what you do with the proposed outside spots. Right, right. And inartfully because they actually go in further. But yes, right. those that would be they would enter off of Second Street onto the driveway. As, as would the cars headed in the same way into the garage. Okay, but the, but here, so for this U-shaped thing, like you put little little red things yes. in here. So yeah. the cars would be parked. I'm think I was thinking when you're talking about a driveway, a long driveway where there'd be a car and then a car. But these are going to be side by the each. quote driveway would be side by side. That's correct. So they would. Those two vehicles could drive right out onto Second Street. That's right. Or turn on, turn on to Kings Highway, I guess. If they, I don't know where the, how the driveway. road Not, is configured down there. Okay, so the the um, garage that's attached to or underneath the the new house. Correct. Because it's going to be one house. Correct. Okay, they'd have to wait till the two here. Right. Can get out. Yeah, and because because this is a single family residence rather than a than a condominium, you're not you're not uh, you you can, you have the ability to coordinate that as the owner. Yes. Okay. Now with the bedrooms, and that <coughs> puzzles me a little bit. Supposedly, the uh, this this is going to be a whole new construction. Yes. Right? That's right. Okay, because there was talk about a small room on the top floor, I guess, in one of the existing houses that, um, that could be used as a bedroom. I think that may be the other. The but other. that's not a consideration now. That's as as it stands now. Um, I think I think what you were just talking about is the other property. What other property? The other one that's on for the forty one fourteen A. The, okay, the second so property, the, not this property second, at all. Okay, well, it's it looks like all one property to me. But you mean the with the new single family house there? Yes. The application is for five bedrooms. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Whereas right now there are two cottages that each have two bedrooms. Right, and then that little whatever it was up in the top, which won't be there because the buildings will be gone. That's right. Okay. I was just trying to get, because it's kind of confusing, quite frankly. Regina? It is, yeah. Okay. Thank uh, you. I just have one point of clarification. So, as presented by Peter Sari right now, all these four parking spots will not be in the town right away, and they will be the full 18 feet. If, if, if the board so conditions it, it would necessitate moving the garage back to that red line I've drawn, that little red line, because that, that represents... 18 feet back from the right-of-way line. Okay, thank you. Rusty? No, I'm all set with that. It's going to upgrade that piece of property, which I think is going to be nice, I think. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, no. Those, those two cottages. I have one question, long. Peter. This has been before the planning board? Not yet, no. Not yet, okay. So it, so it, it would be the amended one if it go. I mean, or it would be with the garage cut back. If Correct, it goes yeah. Before it goes yeah. before. So it would be right, I have nothing either. Anybody else from the uh, public wishing to speak? Nope, seeing none. I, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm seeing I've got none. One more. Well, I have one more question. Go ahead. Is this the line you mean, Mark? You've got two little boxes here where I, the cars go. And this is where the garage would be? That's where it would begin, yes. So the cars that are parked in the garage would exit here? The, the same way. Okay, now the one problem I do have is the, the five, five bedrooms. Um, I, um, I, I don't, if that is not appropriate under the current regulations, um, I'm a little concerned about that. Well, a actually in the zoning ordinance, there is not a bedroom restriction. There is not? There is not. So why do we have all this? It's an accident deed of our history, our deed restrictions. It's a deed okay. restriction, not a... It's a deed restriction. 
but will the deed restriction apply if a brand new house is built and the other two are gone? Uh, no. But, well, you're re you're relieving you're relieving these certain deed restrictions that Peter's asking for relief from. And, and the deed restriction only restri it's, it's for this property. Yes. It's not right. a deed restriction for the neighborhood. It's, um, it, I mean, there might be others, but we're talking about this we're specific only talk property. We're right. only talking this specific property. But if you're building a new structure, then the existing properties, or the, the existing structures are gone. Correct. And will be replaced yeah. by a single structure. Correct. So I don't see what the problem is if the single structure has only four bedrooms. Well, the, the, the Peters explained why they five are needed. Five. They, well, they have a large uh, extended family and five bedrooms are what's right. needed. And again, okay. the zoning ordinance doesn't restrict the number yeah. of bedrooms. So this is going to, instead of two small houses that each had two bedrooms, you've got one bigger house with five bedrooms that can accommodate That's right. a fifth bedroom. That's right. Okay. And it, 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 this eliminates some uh, setback problems that the cottages had. But the exit, there will be no parking on 2nd Street. None at all, ever. In the right way. And they will simply, right, and they will simply right. enter and exit from that, That's that right. area. Okay. Uh, this has been slightly confusing. It all has, right. I agree. Right. <laughs> Closing the public hearing at 1916, and we're opening... Uh, do you public want to make a motion on that one? Or oh, do we need a motion? Actually, no, no, we're, we're voting, voting next one week. One. We have next next right. week. We right. have the final right. uh, right. f the, uh, for action. Right. For, uh, Thank you. And we're opening at 1916 RSA 41 14-A second hearing 907 Ocean Boulevard release deed restriction number four single family four bedroom and seven foot sit setback restrictions. Anybody from the public wishing to speak on that one? I'm the owner of that property. Okay. Um, Microphone. What? When, you're we're right. not. You're done, Peter. I think. Yeah. Which, which, Unless you want to hang around, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> What's Ocean Boulevard? We're talking on Second Street. No, no, no we finished is, that. We've already done that one. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. That's but nice. Thank you, Peter. We were, yeah. we were talking about the single family on Second Street. But it's closed. That public hearing is closed. We're voting on it next week. There's okay. three public hearings. So this have. is a whole brand new. Brand new one. For Ocean Boulevard. For Ocean Boulevard. Yes. Yes. What number Ocean Boulevard? 907. 907. The second hearing. Second hearing. My name is Bill Dufresne. I'm the owner of 907 Ocean Boulevard. Ah. Uh -huh. um, not to be confused with the previous area, oh. because this is different. Confused. I'm simply trying to modify my deed restrictions for the sake of selling my property. Um, I've actually lost the sale of my property in the last few months and the time this has taken and issues that have arisen as a result of it. But it's clearly something that I need to straighten because the lending practices of banks today are so strict that I'm having difficulties finding somebody to simply appraise the house. Oh. Um, so. My current sale, which when I was before you last, is, 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 is gone. And I took my house off the market, and I'm going to try and attempt to clean these issues up and relist it uh, probably in the springtime. Mm. So I don't know if do I need to reiterate my previous presentation as a, as a procedural thing? Do I need to? I, I think we understood. And yep. uh, you Thanks. explained very nicely the history of the property, and your mother was here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you explained it very yeah. well. Hang on a minute, Mark speaking. You explained it very well. Thank okay, you. now, no, nobody from the public wishing to speak, we'll go to the board, Mary Louise. Yeah, I've got a quick question. The 907 Ocean Boulevard property is to the east of the um, Second Street property. Nope. Is it like across Ocean Boulevard? I'm trying to get a mental picture right. where it no, is. No, so I'm 19th Street. 19th yeah, I'm 17 East. blocks north. Oh, it says 907 oh, Ocean that. Boulevard. Yes. That, that's, 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 that's 19th Street. But that's at 19th Street. Almost down to High Street. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm the last that physical helps. street before the traffic lights. Correct. There is a 20th Street, but it's paper only. So, so this has no relation whatsoever no. to what no. we just discussed. Do you have any questions? No, I just want to know where it is. Okay. okay. Regina, do you have any questions? I'm good. Rusty, do you have any questions? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. 
Uh, so we're going to close. You have nothing else, Mark. Nothing at all. You have nothing else, or okay. We're going to close this public hearing at 1920, and this one also will be voted on next Could be week. Actually on the ninth. Yeah. On the ninth. All right. Thank okay. you. For coming Thank you. In. Thank, Thank you very much. Okay, that helped to clarify. Okay, we'll all open the meeting and public comment. Anybody from the public wishing to comment? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Announcements and community calendar. We'll start with Rusty. Okay, a couple things. Remind everybody we have the winter parking ban in effect, and that's throughout all of town, not just the beach. I noticed okay. some cars parked up on Lafayette Road that were there overnight with the windshield wipers <laughs> up, and the town wasn't able to park plow part of the parking lot. Uh, second of all, the tree lighting Friday night in Depot Square. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Come up. The rec department does a great job with that. There's going to be some, uh, some of the stores are open up there. They're going to have uh, hot chocolate. They have, uh, I think they're still doing the, uh, the, the, the hay rides yeah. and, and, and the caroling and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. And then Saturday we have the Christmas parade starting at 1 o'clock. Just hope it doesn't okay. snow. <laughs> Mary Louise. Um, just, I'd, I'd ask the public please to be patient because this is a huge uh, drain on the Public Works Department with all this snow and uh, trash pickup, uh, normal trash pickup might be uh, delayed a little bit, but the Public Works Department's working very hard. Regina. I just wanted to honor that I've heard great things about the amazing job that the Public Works Department has yeah. done today and yeah. early this morning and last night. And yeah, the trash is probably going to get delayed this week, so I hope that everyone can be patient with them. And also, I was asked to remind the public that tomorrow the Budget Committee will be reviewing mm -hmm. the SAU 90 budget and teachers' contracts. And that meeting is scheduled to be on tomorrow at 7 o'clock in this room. So if anyone was concerned, they should watch the meeting and see the discussion by the Budget Committee. That's all I have. Okay, thank you. I'd like to reiterate three things. Number one, the Public Works is doing a great job under a lot of uh, pressure to yeah. get things cleaned up and everything, which is great. Number two, the tree lighting is well worth going to. It's a great uh, time, a great community event. And number three, the, uh, the Christmas parade is also a great Christmas parade, the second largest in the state, I believe. Hmm. And the weather is supposed to be clear. It's supposed to be chilly but clear, so that would be a great thing. And the third one is with the snow and stuff, people should be aware of Jessica's law. You must clean off your car before you go out and huh. drive it. So it's good to do. So please be aware of that. Yeah. Okay, consent Hold agenda. On one more while you oh. brought it up. With all the snow and it's that time of year, please shovel. If you have a hydrant locally, shovel, ah. yes. shovel your hydrants. You know, uh, the house you may protect may be your own. Yeah. So, if you yeah. have a chance, if you have a hydrant in your yard, please shovel it. Yeah, yeah I saw some people doing that today. It was good. Yeah. Great. Okay, good. Consent agenda. It looks like there's nothing on it. Nothing on it, sir. Appointments. Looks like there's nothing on it. Nothing on it, sir. <laughs> Town manager's report. No, unfortunately, there's something on it. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, members of the board, I have received the retirement notice for our building inspector and zoning enforcement officer, effective December 31st, 2019. So he will no longer be with us as of the first of the year. Public Works leave collection has ended, and uh, if anybody <laughs> has leaves that uh, are bundled up, they can take them to the transfer station. Obviously, we're not going to be raking any of those uh, soon. Those in need of leave disposal certainly can bring it to the transfer station. That's available to you at any time. Uh, please remember that petition warrant article, uh, zoning articles, excuse me, must be submitted by December 11th, 2019. S please submit the, your petitioned articles to the Selectman's office. And don't forget, we mentioned a minute ago, the 2019 Christmas Parade will be held on Saturday, December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day. Please come and enjoy the state's largest Christmas parade. We always have the best Christmas parade. Right? Yes. yes. <laughs> and make sure you welcome Santa. That's important. Okay. Thank questions you, for the town manager, Mary Louise. Um, and we, uh, Fred, uh, Regarding your first uh, notice about the retirement of our building inspector, we will be putting out um, requests and published requests for individuals to apply for that position. Uh, the deputy manager will be taking care of that tomorrow. Excellent. <clears throat> Anything else? No. Regina? Congratulations to Kevin, and he will be missed. 
Yeah. That's for yeah. sure. Rusty? Absolutely. Kevin's, uh, Kevin's been here over 20 years, mm -hmm. and uh, he's done a good job and really brought that department up, and uh, we're going to miss him here. And I, he, we'll, fill, we'll fill that position, but it's not probably going to be an easy one to fill. No, it's yeah. not. Right. Okay. And uh, ditto on that, uh, on Kevin, and he's done a great job, and he will be missed. Okay. Going on to old business. Board approval to purchase a sewer camera from the Wastewater System Development Fund at a cost of $75,000 and discontinue the proposed warrant article for that purpose. I will so move, Mr. Chairman. Second. We do that. Okay. We have a, a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Approved. <laughs> Nothing else? New business? <laughs> Anybody? I'm good. Closing comments? Uh, Anybody? Mr. Stay Mr. Safe. Mr. Chairman, if you could, if I could indulge the board to have a motion to go into a non-public session under RSA 91 hyphen capital A colon three Roman two small e litigation. We appreciate that. I'll make a motion. Second. I, okay. Uh, do you want the motion read, Mr. Uh, no. no. Not there yet. No. We're not there. Don't read the motion. Motion to go non-public. Okay. Oh. Motion by Regina, seconded by Rusty. Uh, aye. Roll call. Aye. 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 Unanimous. Okay. We're in. Okay. Thank you, Channel 22. 22.